Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share our quick adventure that we had for 24 hours in Paris. It was actually part of a layover on our way to our honeymoon in Hong Kong and because we had a very very long layover we decided to make the best of it and spend some time in the city of lights. So how we organized this was that we actually flew into Paris um, very early in the morning that day and our flight wasn't until the next morning at 11 a.m. However, I will say that if you, for example, have a flight that arrives in Paris around 9 and leaves 12 hours later, let's say, you could definitely explore quite a bit of the city. You do have to be aware of the train times, the time that it takes you to get essentially from uh, Charles de Gaulle airport into the city center, but I'll talk a little bit about that later. And I'll also talk about today's sponsor, Get Your Guide, later as well, because we use them to book all of the cool activities that we did on our day in Paris that allowed us to make the best of the time we did have in the city. So when we got to the Charles de Gaulle airport, we actually landed in Terminal 2, and no matter what airport you land in, you'll have access to the TGV train that goes into the city. What we did to save some money is we actually bought a day pass that included both to and from rides to the airport and the city, but also included any metro and buses that we wanted to do on our stay here. And I highly recommend it because every time you get in the bus ends up being 250, even if it's just a two second ride. So this is definitely the way to go. And what we did is we made our way using Google Maps over to the Eiffel Tower. That's where we started our day. And that's where I took this really cool picture right outside the Eiffel Tower stop. And we ended up just enjoying that general area. We went up to the Trocadero, but they were constructing. So we had this view, which wasn't the nicest. After that, we headed over to the carousel near the Eiffel Tower, which is where our next activity started. It was a boat ride on the Seine and Nutella telecrep experience and we used get your guide to book it get your guide is a very cool app that has over 60,000 curated experiences and more than 3,600 destinations worldwide and it includes everything from top sites like this one to very local tours their experiences are provided by knowledgeable and local experts but what we love the most about this app is that they actually offer 24 7 support free cancellation up to 24 hours and no printing if tickets required so if you're on the go like us and you just want to have your tickets handy without needing to print anything this is perfect we booked this a few weeks before and actually another great perk is that you can reserve now and pay later for most of their activities so if you're kind of putting together a rough itinerary but you're not sure where you're going to be just yet then you can just cancel up to 24 hours before or just change the dates which is really handy and we actually have to change the date for this cruise it was very easy to do it literally took me seconds so after showing them the QR code, we boarded the Ten River Cruise, which I highly recommend doing if you're short on time because it allows you to hear about the city, but also see the city um, without having to walk around too much. And it condenses everything into just a one hour experience. It usually goes past most of the attractions that you'd want to see from the Seine, including the Notre Dame. Right after the tour, we crossed the bridge to the other side of the river, where I took this very cool picture, and got on a bus to the Louvre Museum area. Again, if you plug it in on Google Maps, it's really, really easy to find out which bus you need to get on, and you can just scan your day pass at the entrance of the bus to go in. We've decided not to actually go in the Louvre as both me and my husband had already been a handful of times. However, what's worth noting is that if you are under 26 years old and you are either a European citizen or resident, so if you're here studying, you can actually get into a lot of attractions in Paris completely for free, like the Louvre Museum, the Arc de Triomphe, or even the Museum d'Orsay. So we just hung around, took a few pictures in this area, kind of enjoyed like the Paris vibe that was going around and it was a very fun day. And after that, we got on the metro once again in this really cool station actually, it looked like it was renovated recently, but we headed over to the Arc de Triomphe. Now I am over 26, my husband is not yet, so he actually got in for free. All he had to do was show his passport to prove that he's a Dutch citizen. But if you, like me, are either not a citizen or you're already over the age of 26, then you can use Get Your Guide to just book the 13 euro ticket to go to the rooftop of the Arc de Triomphe. 
And this actually allows you to skip the line, which the day that we went was very long. So that's an awesome perk. So as you can see here, all I had to do was book this ticket. It actually warned me that if I was under 26 and a US citizen, I could get in for free. So that I also found very cool. Um, they let you know not to buy a ticket in case you could get in for free. Personally, I prefer the view from the top of the Arc de Triomphe better than the Eiffel Tower because one, it's cheaper. And two, you can actually see the Eiffel Tower from the top of the Arc de Triomphe. You can also see Champs-Élysées, which is very beautiful. Do keep in mind that if you come here, you're gonna have to climb up a lot of stairs. It wasn't the easiest, but it was definitely worth the view. Once you get up there, there's two levels of kind of like museum where it tells you a bit of the story of the Arc de Triomphe. It has a cool little camera that shows you what's going on downstairs right underneath the arch and a lot of cool statues and you can learn a little bit more about its past but the true star of the show is definitely going upstairs and just enjoying 360 views of paris Here you can see all the way down Champs-Élysées. If you stay for sunset, for example, especially around Christmas time, you'll get to enjoy all of the Christmas lights of the city. You can also stay here to watch the Eiffel Tower twinkle, which I believe is once an hour starting at sundown. But if you come at dawn, it's the perfect time because you'll get to see it during the day, during sunset and at night. Then what we did was we walked around in Champs-Élysées. If you want to shop, this is the right time to do so. There's a lot of very cool stores. There's also a lot of very high-end stores and a lot of different places that you can grab a bite to eat. But overall, the best part of this experience is just walking around and enjoying the atmosphere and the lights. And you could actually even see a gigantic Louis Vuitton suitcase getting built for what's probably some kind of Christmas campaign. One of my favorite parts of going anywhere this time of year Year. It's just seeing all the stores decorated for the season, seeing all the lights, it just turns a city into a magical place no matter where you go. ended our evening at La Durée. They had this temporary stand because their permanent store was under construction, but it was right outside their usual permanent store, so it was very easy to find. My recommendation if you want to try a few macaroons is that you just pick a handful of them, just choose the ones that look best to you and don't buy a box because when you buy a box it becomes a lot more expensive because of the box itself. If you want to take the box home obviously and keep it as a little souvenir then obviously that's up to you but if you really just want to try the macaroons and save some money then just buy the ones that look best. We really really liked ours. Then we started making our way back to the airport. I would recommend allowing about one hour and 30 minutes to get into the city, but about two hours to get back to the airport as we found that the end of the day was a much longer journey back than it was at the beginning of the day. So do keep that in mind. I hope that this video was helpful and gave you some ideas on how to spend 24 hours in Paris. If you like this, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.